Welcome to Designer Digital's Computer Scrapbooking Tutorials. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to use Designer Digital's templates in Artisan software. Many of the templates of Designer Digital's now come as both layered PSD files for Photoshop users and as a folder of PNG layers for use in other software programs like Artisan. If you look at the product description, it tells you how each of the templates is delivered. Here's how to use the layers as a template in Artisan software. Begin by downloading and unzipping the template. Make a note of where you've placed the unzipped template folder. Inside you'll find a number of images. You'll find a layered PSD template for use in Photoshop. You'll find a preview and you'll find a number of Word documents that give information like terms and font information. You'll also find a folder of PNG images inside the unzipped template folder. Open your Artisan software in advanced mode. Click the Create a New Project or Page icon and then select Page. On the next screen choose Standard Paper Sizes and Square and then click 12 by 12 and Create. Now the software populates a new blank document. Minimize the window so that you can move the artisan window slightly to the left and open the unzip template folder so that you can find the folder of PNG images. Double click the PNG folder to open it and you'll notice that number one is the very first layer. That's the top layer and if you scroll down you'll see that the last layer is a background layer. You don't want to bring them into Artisan in this order. You want the background first and then you want everything stacked on top of that. So to do that go to View, Sort By, Descending. And now the top layer, the first layer, will be the background and then every layer after that will be stacked on top of the background. Drag this over to the right so that you can see all of these and you can see the Artisan window too. Click the first layer, scroll down, and hold the Shift key as you click the last layer. Then click and drag all of the layers at once onto your Artisan open document. It will take a few moments to stack the layers onto the Artisan page, but they'll come in in order using this method. Next, maximize the Artisan window or close the PNG folder window. You'll notice that the template layers aren't centered on the page that you created. So to fix that, keep all of the new layers selected over in the bin on the left and choose Home, Align, Center on Page from the menu bar. The next step is to crop away the transparent portions of each PNG layer to reduce the file size. This will help save space on your computer and it will help the software run more efficiently and a little bit faster. With all of the template layers still selected, choose Cut from the menu bar. Next, select Straight and Straight Edge. You'll get this little checkerboard pattern, which you can move over to the side of your page and then choose Cut at the bottom right corner of the screen. This may take a few moments, but it removes the excess portions of the PNG layers automatically. If you're working on an older computer system, you may need to select only a few layers at a time for this step so that your computer can efficiently handle the task. When the task is complete, you'll see this scary looking situation, but it shows you that your template is ready to use. Just click anywhere outside of the template to get rid of those scary lines. Now your template is ready to use, so to attach your photos or papers to the template, scroll down the Elements panel to find the photo placeholder that you want to fill. I'm going to fill this little middle photo section. Click the down arrow to the right of the thumbnail of the image and choose Fill from my computer. Use a browser bar to navigate to the picture folder on your computer and click to select the photo that you want to use. Click Open. 
your photo will appear in the cutting board. Drag out the border to select the portion of the picture that you want to use. I'm going to zoom in on her cute little face. And then click OK. The photo selection will fill the page element. You can repeat the process to fill the photo placeholders. So I'm going to click this photo placeholder on the right and then I can either come over and use the down arrow to fill it the same way we did before or another method is to just right click on it and choose fill from my computer. Choose a photo, click open, and then drag the borders in the cutting board to find the portion of the photo that you want to use before you click OK. Repeat the process to fill the photo placeholders. Use the same technique to fill the background with digital photos or papers and any photo mats. Click the background and then either right click or choose the down arrow to fill with a background paper. To add journaling, choose Insert, Text, and then you can drag the text box around to put it where you'd like it. Using these techniques, you can use the PNG files to assemble templates in Artisan and fill them with your own photos.